everyone, Adrian here. So today I'm going to be doing a review of this new bottle of absinthe I just got yesterday. It's called Vieux Bon and it's a French absinthe and it has a grape neutral base. So I really want to see how this compares to the other absinths I've had in the past that have a grain neutral spirit base. So... <sighs> this is gonna be fun. I've been looking forward to trying this one for a while. My friend Lisa recommended it to me and a couple of other people recommended it to me. So I'm excited to try it. Carefully uncork- okay. <laughs> Carefully uncorking it. Already, if you're a fan of wine, this this is definitely different. This is definitely different. It definitely has some sweeter notes in there. Not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be sweeter, but not quite that sweet. And it has a really pretty color. It's not showing up that uh, green on camera, but it's a really gorgeous, like, uh, peridot green color. Yeah, really pretty green. Really, really pretty. Getting my spoon and sugar, of course. So, using just one packet of these. Typically, I use one and a half, and that was with my previous absinthe that I went through, which is uh, La Fe Absinthe Parisienne, the original recipe. And this is the pretty spoon I'm using. Hell yeah. My spoon collection has grown a little bit since the last time you guys saw me make an absinthe video, so that's cool. And let's watch the magic. Oh, already that smells really good. <laughs> really, really good. And it has a very, very pretty louche color. Very, very pretty. Like, everything about this absinthe in particular is just pretty. I don't, I don't know what it is. Très joli. Definitely getting a little more of the wormwood and herbal notes in there as it's kind of uh, louching here. Just kind of waiting for the sugar to dissolve here. Yeah, very pretty color. Very pretty. Sometimes when an absinthe uh, starts <laughs> uh, louching here, it sucks because sometimes it turns a really like nasty, either yellow color or hardly any green in there, but this is pretty. This is awesome. So far, so good. Really creating a good absinthe experience here thus far. Really excited to taste it. Come on, just that little bit left. Come on. There we go. Little last bits of sugar. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, you can do it. Thank you. Alrighty. Wow, the sugar actually dissolved really well in there. I, I don't see, I hardly see any, um, like, granules of sugar at the bottom, which is nice. That actually seems pretty well distributed. Alrighty. This actually smells really wonderful, so I'm really excited to try it, and you guys are going to see my reaction in real time. Santé. Wow. <laughs> that is unexpected. That is definitely unexpected. Definitely really herby and very wine-like in its texture and its um, body, so certainly very different. It almost tastes like a white wine, but with the absinthe uh, herbs used, used to make absinthe in there. And it's not at all unpleasant, like it has like some barrel uh, like wood notes in there, so that's really cool. Yeah, so I really like that. I really do. It's not too heavy on the anise flavor, which I kind of expected a little more anise flavor with this, but you know what? That's okay. It's perfectly fine. So I definitely really like it. I really do. So if you happen to be a wine lover that is kind of transitioning into uh, trying absinthe and stuff like that, I would really recommend this one.
Like I said, this has a grape neutral spirit base. And um, I think it's a burgundy grape, actually. Yeah, uh, it's a burgundy grape, so that's really cool. A little bit of peppermint in there, which typically I don't care for, but in this case the peppermint isn't too overbearing, it just kind of like adds a nice finish at the end of it, so um, I know that was kind of my problem with Lucid. Although it was pretty good, Lucid was pretty good, it was just way too strong on the peppermint kind of flavor, and that kind of turned me off, so yeah. Yeah, that is definitely very pleasant on the tongue, very pleasant going down the throat and stuff like that, so um, compared to other absinths that I've had, this one isn't as sharp. It's definitely more gentle. I know the alcohol content is about, oh, okay, yeah, 65%, which is 3% less than Lafayette Absinthe Parisienne. Even that taken into account, this is still very gentle. This is this doesn't sting the throat on the way down. It doesn't sting the tongue or anything like that. So this is really, really good. It's like fresh winter air, if that makes any sense. It's like fresh winter air. And trust me, we're getting a little bit of that uh, past couple of days. It's been really cold. Yeah, the... The aftertaste definitely gives you a fresh winter air kind of feeling, which is really, really refreshing. So that was my first impression and review of Vieux Pontalier Absinthe. So you guys are totally up for the experience of trying a, an absinthe that has a wine base. This is a really good uh, way to start. Really good way to start. And this is very gentle and pleasant. I think I like this a little more than uh, La Fée, Absinthe Parisienne. So seriously, Pontalier Distillery, you guys rock. <laughs> you guys did an amazing job creating a really pleasant absinthe experience that doesn't shock the senses. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!